Today I'll show Linux, Windows and ESXi ARM booting on a Baikal M-based uh, desktop PC, which is an ARM-based PC. Let's start with Linux. PC Express needs to be exposed using this single device ECAM mode. We're going to use this for both Linux, Windows and ESXi ARM. Uh, this lets you consume simple discrete PCIe um, adapters like USB adapters, SATA, simple NICs, things that are limited to a single device. Um, okay, and uh, for Linux, uh, keep the PCI Express MSI support in ACPI using ITS and IRT, which is a fairly typical mechanism in ARM. So then let's boot into my Debian. So this is a pretty regular Debian 11, you know, not using a custom kernel, booting using ACPI. Um, let's look at the uh, PCI devices available and you see I have an NVMe controller and I have a USB adapter. If we look at the USB devices, you'll see that I have an A6 um, uh, network, uh, network adapter dongle. Uh, so we can look at the uh, interrupts, um, pretty normal. A less block uh, should show that I have uh, two SAT SSDs and an NVMe SSD. Okay, let's reboot into a different OS. So now uh, let me show you how Windows works. Now for Windows, you do need to change one setting. The message signal uh, interrupts need to be exposed using a different mechanism. So you're going to go into uh, the ACPI configuration and pick this uh, MSI frame mechanism. That will involve a full reset. Then once we come back, just pick the uh, SSD with Windows which is this 845. I have no idea why Windows likes to do that. Um, I guess when it sees a new SSD it really wants to do a disk check. So let's log in. Does the web work? And it should. In the meantime, let me show you the device manager. Again, again, the, this is networking over USB net. Um, and it's actually plugged into this um, RENSAS uh, uh, XACI adapter. It's this one right here. Uh, I'll also show you that I do have an um, uh, NVMe Express controller. And if you look at the uh, disk drives, then yeah, you know, you have the three SSDs, two of which are SATA, and a USB key uh, with my ESXi ARM ISO on it. Uh, okay. So now let's uh, reboot and uh, look at ESXi ARM. Now ESXi ARM can work with either uh, MSI mechanism, either uh, using the um, ITS, which is a, an interrupt targeting service, um, part of the interrupt controller, or it can use the MSI frame, which actually uses uh, GIC v3 set SPI injection. So I'm kind of lazy, so both will work, but I'll just show you the booting without changing anything. Oops. All right, let's go.
this is an installer that's booting up. Um, And then you see uh, but it, ESXi ARM sees all the storage available, which is the three SSDs, one of which is an NVMe SSD, and of course the USB key that we booted from. And then if we go here, hooray, PCI Express works. All right, so, so that's the demo. Uh, you've seen three uh, different operating systems uh, booting on the Baikal system. All these operating systems were built for system ready SR or system ready ES systems. And we were able uh, to hack this desktop uh, firmware uh, in a way where we can do these unmodified operating systems and are generally useful. Thanks for watching.